A typewriter works by pressing metal letters against an inked ribbon and transferring the ink onto a substrate, like paper or plastic film. The C4C has two kinds of typewriters, manual and electric. Manual typewriters use the physical force from your fingers to move the metal letters. Electric typewriters use a motor to create this movement, triggered by the press of a key. Regardless of the kind of typewriter you're using, there are a few important parts to recognize. The key top, where the keys are located, the tab and margin keys, the platen, the platen knob, the paper table, the paper guide, the paper release lever, the paper bale, and the carriage return lever. Before you begin typing, you'll need to load paper into the machine. With the paper release lever in lock position, place paper at the back of the roller. Hold the paper in place with one hand while turning the platen knob clockwise. The paper will catch under the roller and emerge on the front side of the roller. Then lower the bale. If your paper is a bit crooked, you can fix the alignment by unlocking the paper release lever and adjusting the paper. Next, check your margins and tab stops. Here, the process varies from machine to machine. On manual typewriters, you'll often set the margins by moving a metal clip that rests behind the roller. On electric typewriters, you may set the margins using keys on the key top. Tabs, which determine where indents are located, often work the same way. You can find specific instructions for our machines by looking for manuals online or you can ask a C4C assistant for help. Once your paper is loaded and your margins are set, you're ready to begin typing. Make sure the carriage is positioned to the far right of the machine. If you're using an electric typewriter, use the power switch to turn it on. Typing on electric typewriters is a lot like typing on a computer. But typing on a manual typewriter requires a different technique. Typing too fast or pressing one key before releasing another can cause the type bars to jam. Rather than resting your fingers on the keys, try holding them slightly above the key top. Some typewriters have their own quirks. On many older typewriters, for example, including some in the C4C, there's no digit one. To save space in the crowded type bar area, typists used a lowercase l for one and an uppercase letter O for zero. Inevitably, you'll make mistakes while typing. First, you can use the backspace key to position the typewriter back to where you made the error. Now type the correct letters over top. Second, you can go back to the position of the error and cross it out with a capital letter X. Third, you can use whiteout to cover up the error and type over top. It's important to wait for the whiteout to dry before typing over it. Finally, you can leave it be and move on. Nothing's perfect. Typewriters can do more than produce traditional text. Some visual artists also use them to produce typewriter or ASCII art, pictures made from letters, numbers, and special keyboard characters. ASCII art was especially popular in the 1980s and early 90s, before the rise of internet service. But its roots stretch back to the late 1800s and the earliest common use of typewriters. What can you do with a typewriter? Visit us and find out.